Hey guys, it's Swanky Jack. Welcome to Swanky Jack Plays The Wolf Among Us. Guys, I have been so excited to play this. I've had this for a while now. Uh, I, I read a bit of fables. I'm not gonna lie, I am no fable expert. I've read the first, like, volume. And I really enjoyed it. And because I enjoyed it is why I didn't want to read it so that I could enjoy The Wolf Among Us for what it was. Because my, my medium of choice is video games. I love the idea of being able to interact with games and have a direct influence on what's going on. So... For those who don't know, Fables is like modern day in a kind of film noir kind of thing where the main characters are fairy tale characters. And I believe they, the, the fairy tale characters, they are called Fables. They, like, they're sort of sub race per se, is Fables. Uh, you play as Bigby Wolf. Uh, that's all I'm going to say because I don't want anyone to. I don't want to like spoil anything in advance because being a Telltale game. This is all about narrative. I don't know if you guys have played any Telltale games or seen any Telltale games. This is basically going to be five episodes of um, narrative. It's just really, really well written and artistically fantastic narrative. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click, click play. And we're just going to get on with this because I'm really excited about this. So, Wolf Among Us time. Uh, yes, so episode one. Does it have a name? I don't know if it's got a name or not. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So do bear in mind, if you are to play this, unless you make the same decisions as me, you will actually be getting a slightly different story. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after their exile from their homelands. Through the use of magic called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. As a heads up, I have subtitles on, and I'll be doing my best to avoid talking over dialogue. But that is why I've got subtitles on, so if I am talking, uh, you will not miss dialogue. Which is obviously quite important in a narrative-based game. Another one of the reasons I actually uh, like the idea of this game is I'm a big fan of Miracle of Sound, uh, who is a musician who writes songs about video games. Well, he writes other songs as well, but he probably got known from writing his songs about video games, and his Wolf Among Us song is probably one of my favourite of his works. I'll leave a link for it in the description if you want to give it a listen. Also, film noir is like my favourite style, so I'm just all kinds of excited. Ah, oh, this game is beautiful. I'm genuinely impressed by how it's all like dark and gritty, but so colourful. Toads, 251 Barretto Street. Well, he's not even trying to hide. Mr. Toad? It's just... <laughs> is he a cockney swearing frog? Oh, no, oh yeah, he is. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Yeah, you better, Toad. Cross my arm. Oh, uh, I'm looking, at a a I'm looking at a three-foot Toad. I'm looking at a three-foot Toad <laughs> in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the Silence park. is a valid it's option. Simple as that. Ooh, you that's can't send me up to live with those animals. Oh, what's the farm? You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I... I'm genuinely fascinated by, like, can't give you a, free pass on a modern economic system tight. about right. fantasy characters. There's Mr. Toad will remember that. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Ooh. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B. 
before he completely tears up the place. Let's do this. Let's get on with this. I should probably go handle this. Let's go. Yes, let's go show him what the Big B stands for. For those of you that haven't figured it out, Big B is the Big Bad Wolf. Oh. I will kick your ass, you froggy prick. What did I say? You are the Big Bad Wolf to take you away. No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> <laughs> Although, um, to any frog people out there, I do apologise if calling Mr. Toad a frog was considered racist. As a dungeon master, I do often try and sort of get my players to make the distinction. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, Telltale Games, point and click based uh, narrative games. There you go, got uh Fuck it, let's just, let's, yeah, let's just kick the door in. God damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, that's, hey. Not, that's not okay, buddy. You've that's not okay. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <laughs> Get wrecked. I'll fucking kill you! Hey, everyone, All calm right, down. Let's right. just. Oh well. Bring it on then. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Oh, get them's the fighting talks. You get the Let's give him one last warning. Woody, this is your last warning. Oh, it's like the woodsman? On like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Ah, uh, these guys got beef. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. Oh my time. god. This isn't last time. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it involves the keyboard. That's my bad. I've already been punched. Oh my god, this is going badly. Right, let's try this again. Oh shit, he's got some. I was going. Oh shit, he's got a razor. Whoa. Too fast for you. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. Oh, balls. I can't handle. <laughs> Quick time events. No. Right, let's try it. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Oof. Did he just hit me with a toaster? This guy's nuts. Uh, let's throw him to a bookshelf. Back off, asshole. There we go. We're getting there. Now I know I need mouse and keyboard. Things are going a bit better. Oh shit, that's like a magic axe. That's definitely a magic axe. That's got like Celtic runes on it and stuff. Oh, uh, Q. There we go. Oh, press Q. Oh, I think it was mash Q. Oh shit, I might be about to get my head cut off. The best Big B Wolf you'll ever see. <clears throat> Guys, you know what? I'm sorry. That's my bad. I will, I will focus on actually doing things right. So dodge. And then it was mash Q, wasn't it? There we go. There we go. Okay, I see now. So if the arrow so if, if the button's got a key off like a direction on it, it's press it. If it hasn't, I'm assuming it's gonna be tap or hold. You should probably get out of here. So who's Look, she then? I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. <laughs> I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> shit. Yeah. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? In... I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Is she, is she a, a, a lady of the night? Who are you? Who are you? Oh! Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Okay, Don't well... Make this more difficult than it has That's answered one question. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. From the sequence of events, I'm going to assume Fables are somewhat more resilient than humans. Who I believe humans are called Mundies in this. Could be wrong in regards to that. So who is she then? So we've seen Mr. Toad, we've seen oh, Big Bad Wolf, we've seen the Woodsman. Was he a cab driver? Hey, Toad. <laughs> <I call. laughs> Give me a second. Good times. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make mm -hmm. yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. Come, get come you on, anything. behave yourself, Frick Toad. Get inside. Toad, you need to get off the street. You don't have your glamour. Apologies for smashing your car, Toad. I'm gutted for you, mate. It's a real shame. I was getting to That's that. I was you. trying to do both. Play the old man role. Things are more important than your car. I mean, he's not wrong. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. This isn't good. This isn't good. Was that like a poster for Kung Fury? A smash, a smash, a smash. Oh my god, this is horrendous! This is. Oh my god. Ah! There we go, got him. Oh, not quite. I gotta keep going? Oh my god. This is exhausting. Sorry if all you can hear is the Q button being mashed. Run. Oh no. Oh no. You gone messed with the wrong person. Oh. Well, thank you very much, whoever you are. Come on, Bigby. Chill. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Turn around. Admire the Kung Fury poster. Yeah, Fables are more resilient, I think. Oh. He may have just died. Uh, what, what are, are you doing? doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You alright back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I've got a feeling that he might not have got a say in the There we go. He didn't get a say in the matter. Great. I don't know, just like cut his ear off or something. Brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> I don't. Uh, go on. I, I should He's probably stop her. A Son of a bitch can take plenty. The wording there was that implying that she's not a fable, who knows of fables. Or that she is a f oh maybe that ring was a hint at something and I wasn't paying attention. Now, I instinctively want to say it's going to be someone like Red Riding Hood or, or Snow White, but I'm fairly certain Snow White is one of the main characters. And by the way that she didn't recognise the woodsman, considering the woodsman's going on and on about, make a joke. Good job. Ten out, ten out of ten, Bigby. Good, you're joking. Come on, who are you? Maybe the who do you work the with? ribbons a hint. I don't know. I just want to know who she is. These lips are sealed. Sorry. See, considering this is a game about fairy tale characters, part of me is thinking she doesn't get hey, a say in the matter. You like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. Yeah, I've got a feeling she can't. She might be enchanted by something, meaning she like can't. We've met before. 
So it could be red? We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change. On the subject of like red yes. and the big bad wolf, if you guys haven't watched Once Upon a Time and you've got Netflix, definitely give it a watch. It's a it's a similar sort of principle, modern day fairy tale kind of thing. It's really, really good. I've I've been enjoying it a lot. I'm currently I think I just finished season Stop. two. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the stadies. <laughs> what swearing yeah, with an axe in the back of his head? Worry, it was all about me. That's not what I mean. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Is she a fairy tale? I'll be fine. Yeah, she, she seems to be some... Uh, I'll go on then, yeah. Do, do the good thing, Big B. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. I'm trying to help you. Just take the money. See? Okay. Big B's a good guy. Just you give him the money. Out of a bad situation back yeah. then. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, good job, Big B. I'm still gonna need a statement. <laughs> I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Wink! How do you know where I am? You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> for, a for like a detective. I don't use that term lightly. Sorry, sheriff. Shouldn't he know that what people people know? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Ooh. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh. Or maybe not. I think I'm, I think I missed my window there. Hey. I need to tell you something. Is it who you are? It? Come on, who are you? I need to know. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. See, Bigby's the best. He's champion. I'll see you around, Wolf. Wink! You're gonna hear a lot of that from me for conversations between them if she's gonna keep throwing in things like that. Uh, if this episode does have a name, it will be in, like, the name of the video. Which, at this point in time, you probably would have already figured out in the fact that you would have seen the name of the video. Hey guys, Swanky Jack here. Thanks for watching this episode of The Wolf Among Us. There's going to be new episodes of that every day at the same time. And if you've enjoyed it, like the video and subscribe for more daily content. If you've got any feedback or suggestions for future videos, give me a shout in the comment section below. Or give me a shout on Twitter or on Facebook. The links for which will be in the description below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Miracle of Sound's song, A Dog's Life, which I used for the intro of this video. Miracle of Sound is one of my favourite musicians in the world. And if you'd like to hear more of his content, by all means, follow the link in the description to more of his stuff, because he is absolutely amazing. So until then, thanks for watching and have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Bye!